Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another train show haul. Um, this one I went to a a rather obscure train show, I think. Another one of those really obscure ones. Um, it was in Kutztown, Pennsylvania. Um, I think that's how you say it. Kutztown? I don't know. Uh, K-U-T-Z town. Um, anyways, it was a... Uh, it was actually a surprisingly big train show. There was two ginormous pavilions filled with tables. There's probably like, I don't know, like 30 rows of tables in each pavilion and, you know, like four for like five like four or five tables per row. So there's a whole bunch of stuff actually. But um you know, there was a whole bunch of so a surprising amount of O scale template and standard gauge stuff, and obviously I'm not interested in that unfortunately. So uh I would say honestly, like the majority was that and HO scale. I'd say that's about 30% stuff HO, 30 to 40% of it was HO scale. So it's a bit of stuff, but a lot of stuff was like just cheap toy, you know, train set quality stuff. So there wasn't actually that much good stuff. Uh, the, the, the really nice, um, you know, brass and high quality, like Pro 2000 and, you know, the, the really new uh, things, um, were really expensive people. They, the sellers are clearly trying to sell for profit. So I didn't even bother with that kind of stuff. So I had to really sort, you know, dig through everything. And I, I think I found a few good deals. Um, not too much here. I spent a, a little bit over $100 today. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So first off, we have these three. Uh, these are Red Caboose kits. I finally found myself a an REA Express um, Circle Keystone Pennsylvania car. I want to get a lot of these. And these are so ex rare and expensive on eBay. Um, they're just so uncommon these days that I finally found I'm very happy for a good deal too for 15 bucks. Um, I got these three for 35 total. Uh, it, this was originally 15, 12, and 12. I got for 35 all three together. Uh, so it's pretty solid. These are just generic, just random. I think both Lehigh Valley kits, uh, box cars. But anyways, yeah, just box cars that are de they're really nice, de uh, really nicely detailed. There's um, you know, all the separately applied uh, details and whatever. It's not the molded on crap. Um, but yeah, so this stuff I'm really excited for. It's going to take a bit of time to build, but I'm okay with that. Uh, next up, we have a Bachman uh, Action Caboose. Um, I, I enjoy collecting these things. I know they're really cheap and toy-like, but I don't care. I think they're cool. Um, this is only five bucks, you know, so I was like, why not? Um, apparently, this is supposed to apparently act like an RPO car, like the railway post office where you have like a swinging like mailbag and the, and the guy will pick it up into the caboose. Uh, very, you know, unprototypical. Um, no one, you don't do that with cabooses and also the Santa Fe caboose is just an imaginary car. So yeah, not realistic at all, but I think it's a cool toy. Um, I, I, I collect a few of these, so that's why I got it. Uh, next up we have, I'm gonna say this, the best for last, but next up we have these two. These are the really, really cheap before Bachman ever made these into the DCC, uh, Santa Fe, uh, 484 tenders. Um, yeah, these are these are super cheap. They're just all plastic, plastic wheels, plastic everything, no weight, very light inside. Um, you know, just really crappy train set quality kind of stuff. Stuff. Uh, but these were only a dollar each, <laughs> which was insane. Um, I don't know why I bought them. Honestly, I figured I would just like put them next to like I'll, I'll weather them and put them in a scrap pile or whatever uh, on the layout. But uh, yeah, they're really cheap stuff. But I, you know, I'm not getting this for anything really. This one was rather amusing because there, I saw a speaker in there and I saw some wires coming out and it was rather heavy so I was curious as to what it is I, I doubt there's a decoder in there if it is I mean I paid a dollar for this so uh but I assume two wires would probably just be the speakers um and the guy probably had some extra weight but regardless a dollar each that's amazing <laughs> um again not doing much with this kind of stuff but just bought it for fun uh similarly here this was only two dollars it was in a non-working parts pile kind of thing uh the guy had a whole bunch of like Broke, broken cheap Bachman 060s, the, the kind that had cracked axles. Um, those are obviously garbage. This one, MDC Roundhouse, it's a saddle tank. Uh, missing the motor and the worm gear, or worm, but the worm gear is still there. Um, it's jam Something's jammed. I think it'd be just kind of fun uh, to put on the side or something like that. I don't know. It's $2. I mean, you really can't go wrong with $2. And all the uh, all the uh, stirrup steps are still there, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I again, I don't, I don't plan to do much with this. It's probably just going to sit in a scrap pile or whatever. In my in my layout. Uh, next and finally, uh, last but not least, is this. Now, the same guy who sold this told me this. That he had a whole bunch of cheap non-working engines. So there you go. Um, so this is a real mystery lot. This is a, uh, as you cl clearly see, not a brass tender. It's some sort of metal tender with no rivets on the sides. So not really realistic. But it has these brass trucks. There. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Commonwealth trucks that you look like. Uh, I could use them on my Santa Fe or whatever, but anyways, um, yeah, so it comes with these brass trucks, which are kind of nice. It's very, very heavy. It looks like, 
I think this underframe is really thick and it's just lead, just pure lead weight. I don't know, but it's very, very heavy. Um, but yeah, I have no clue what tender this is supposed to be. It says wall and back. I, I'll be honest, I've never heard of router called that, but it's probably some really, uh, some, some, ups, at least in my opinion, obscure railroad. I do apologize if I, if I'm offending someone, uh, but I've, I've personally never heard of this. Um, it looks like a redding kind of tender, sort of, not really. Um, but anyways, also comes with a champs decal set for, I think, redding. Yeah, Redding Steam Loco. So it might be a Redding prototype. I'm not sure. But Tender and the engine are completely unrelated. This this Tender looks like a scratch built. Or not scratch built, but it looks like a kit built. Some sort of Tender. Um, here is a whole bunch of parts. Uh, I did check the valve gear for this engine. And the rear trailing truckers is not in here, to my knowledge. So this is just kind of an unrelated brass part slot. <laughs> um, there's a tube here, which I thought was kind of cool. I have no clue what this is for yet again. Um, oh, here we go. Here's a here's one of the uh, missing uh, what do you call it? Brake brake uh, what do you call it? Shoot, the brake pads, brake shoes. There you go. Um, and then here's obviously the engine itself. I don't honestly, I don't even know if the engine shell and the chassis are even meant to be together. Uh, it does not fit well on the on the on the chassis, so I don't even know if they're meant to fit together. Um, I'm not again. Also, I'm not sure if it's a Toyota or a Toyota Four. Um, it looks like a, or yeah, 28282 or a 284. This could be a four wheel trailing, a uh, four wheel trailing truck or a two wheel trailing truck. I'm not sure, but in any case, it's it's definitely seen better days. I mean, you can see the the solder job on this thing is terrible. Um, but they did, they did add some copper copper custom, I guess you could say, piping. Um, a real mess of an engine. Uh, the gearbox is still there, which I thought was pretty cool. And yeah, I don't know. It looks like it might be a Sunset engine. I'll have to check, but it doesn't look like PFM. Um, but I again, I have no clue. And anyways, so this the guy wanted it a hundred bucks for it. As you can see with the price tag, uh, I I bargained him down to sixty dollars. I told him like all the parts aren't included. This is a mismatched tender. You know, it's just a mess of an engine. Uh, so I, 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 I said, uh, 50 and then he said 75 and I said 60 and he made a deal. So there you go. Uh, it's in a, it's in a Varney box. Here's the box. It's all messed up, but yeah, <laughs> I have no clue. But in any case, um, oh, actually it does come with, oh, these are envelopes. Actually, it, it might come with a valve here. That's actually really cool. Yeah, it actually might come with a valve here. I'm very excited. Actually, this, I actually could use this engine and do something with it. Here's the uh, front piece for it. As a center mounted headlight. Anyways, I'll have to do some deep digging. I tried to just do a quick search and I couldn't find what this engine is supposed to be. So I'll have to do some deep digging and figure out what this is. But in any case, I'm actually really excited. It actually does come with the valve gear. I thought these were just paper, but it's actually envelopes with the valve gear inside, I assume. I hope it's complete. But in any case, um, yeah, this I paid 60 bucks for. Uh, I paid 35 for these, five for this, a dollar each for these, and two dollars for that. So spent a little over a hundred dollars for some really cool items to be honest. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I don't know if this is worth sixty dollars to be honest, um, but I'm not. Again, I'm not sure. I think it is, but uh, yeah, I have no clue. But in any in, in any case, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm pretty excited. This was a really fun train show. I really try to go every, through everything fast because because there's so much stuff to go through, um, and it was very enjoyable. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.